Hey man, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you some eBay sales that I made from 16th of March 2022 to the 20th of March 2022. So here we go. I'm going to share with you if I took a best offer, or if I sent off offer, or how long, if I remember how long I took to sell. So here we go. So I sold the kitten tins. I made it between 16 the kitten tins. Hard cover. Ram now. Oh, but wait, wait. This sold for ten dollars plus shipping. I took an offer on the first one of of ten. I was gonna come under it. I took the offer ten, so mm, oh, I took an offer ten on the first one, so understood. Oh, and I got and that was pretty good. So it's part of the children's book that I picked up my local art shows for. I don't want to say like a, I can't remember, or like 26 bucks somewhere around there, and it's a good deal, and I flipped it, so I was happy about that. <laughs> and I did not make my money back yet, mm, I'm going to show you the book a lot, you, cash prize, yeah, you sold three things and don't make your money back, but, yeah, that's the way it works sometimes. And I suffer a lot of money. And, mm -hmm, and just the higher dollar stuff hasn't sold yet. This is Andy McDermott, a lot of four paperback books and novels. This sold for $1.77 plus shipping, some semi offerings. And I took it. And then we said, we well, did do an offer on these. Oh, so how can we get a paper? And we use paper. And then I did. And they said three, and I took it. And I said, I'm going to do this at full instead of this. I'll do this at full because my million cents plus shipping. And I did my million cents plus shipping, and they sent me off for that. And I took it just so I could pay later, and they did. And. So all three of these in the same buyer in the bundle, so I was happy. Uh -huh. Then I sold in a handbook of electronic tables and frames, third edition, in 60 hardcover. This sold for six seventy four plus shipping. This I've had for about a couple months. It was in a bulk booklet. They said the list of books are not really worth much individually. Or um, went and just the books are worth something individually in this book I did. And now I'm just doing the books that are worth at least a little something individually. Or not even worth a little something. Yeah. Oh no, I have a sell. I have a just sell. Yeah. Or oh, not even worth like, hard, like nothing. I'm worth a little something. Yeah. I can make a little bit on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or I'm up in like author lots or gem lots and just miscellaneous lots of worst case. Mm -hmm. I sold for six seventy four plus shipping, and I made a few bucks on it. It's like five bucks on my hand, probably so. For five bucks, so it's good. It is a book from like a business or like some where it says it of division supply you know, group on there. And this, you know, you know what? I probably have for like a month. I don't want to say probably a month. Same as these. This is about maybe two or three months. And this, these plates I've had for, I want to say about, before I start, I want to say about two, two, two and a half months. So they sell for having the modules, 10 dessert plates. And they could have a baby shell up. So these sold for $20.59 plus the buyer paid shipping. And I was about to. Someone sent me an offer of like sixty and that, or like eight dollars in these. I come in in the middle, of like fifteen, sixteen. They did not come. They did not take the offer. And then I ended up selling it for a ten percent sale price of two hundred fifty nine plus shipping. And boom, I took it. It took a while to get those watchers, but. Like 15, 16 watches, but I knew someone ended up buying a ton of watches. 
Yeah, they did. Boom. So I was happy about that. This is a lot of 10 various hardcover paper art books. A lot nine. These sold for seven fifty plus shipping. I just wanted to get rid of these, so I took a little bit of a lower offer. But this is, but you know, some of these books might take a while, so I figured. And I didn't put it on sale just because of the low um, um, the shipping cost and all that and the fees. I'm not gonna hard to make nothing anyways. So I had to take an offer, you know. So I'm taking offer to make a little something on it. So yeah. So I may have a few bucks of these books. So I'm happy. And I've had these for, I had them for about a month. This is a DVD I've had for about, I want to say about two months. This is You Bet Your Life, Volume 2. This sold for $4.49. Free shipping. I didn't make hard. I made a little bit on this DVD, but not much at all. After fees and shipping, but. It was though. Just gotta get rid of it. This was in a ball cut of DV of cassette tapes, like CDs, DVDs, just like art stuff. Like on the state sale. And I picked them up just for like the blank tapes and like the seat and like the it's a and there's a lot of them up. Come up primarily the blank tapes, VHS tapes. Picked up a ton of them for three dollars. I still have got a few left. Not a lot, but a lot was great. And this is Watkins Household Hints by Ellen, 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 1941. So this should spin up a vintage. I've had this for since like, oh, since like almost the end of August, like six months. I want to see. Yeah, almost actually seven months. So this is on the 25% sale. Yeah, I ended up eventually selling it for four for nine plus shipping. Didn't make a whole ton of this, but I made a few bucks on this, so got to sell it. Something like that. And then this book, uh, putting the profit. This is a lot of 39 vintage Ray McNally. It's tipped up, straight off, and off books. This I took an offer on these for highly listed for 49.99. So I sent me offer a 35. I counted at 45, and they took it. So 45 dollars. Plus shipping. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. I was glad I saw these. And uh, get these out of here and I made about thirty-five around thirty-five dollar thirty-five to forty dollar profit, so can't complain about that. This is a lot of two I fit in this watch I two checker. Man, it's only blue but We sold for four dollars and twenty four cents plus the buyer paid shipping. And I'm kinda of surprised I mean these dudes the buyer wants to return where it's in the bit and I'm I'm gonna say you can in the eBay automatically open a return. If someone says negative um eBay did automatically open a return and did automatically do all the return. I approved and then I already approved the return anyways. But you didn't, um, you didn't set up it back, so. I mean, I'm just gonna say, send back for a refund. Um, that, so that's what I'm gonna do. And if you want to send back, you want to send back, they ask, so. Yeah, blue and black. And they're eye fitness brand. So, help I don't get those returns, but they return. I don't then. Dying. Go with that. If they return on them, that's fine with me because I do 30 day returns. But I, I do 30 day returns every day. But the buyers pay return shipping reverse, so I do free shipping or I charge for shipping on every day. Just because of the fact that I don't want like rockets except within 30 days. Buyer pays return shipping. That's not a charge for shipping. And if and uh, free shipping, eh? You do thirty eight returns as well. Yep, yep, return shipping. I don't mind doing free shipping. 
free shipping if I have to free shipping too. I'm gonna be competitive, but I just want to charge for shipping. I don't need to I don't do free agent when I have to. No. Yeah, this is the real bio that way. It's the way you see. Which I just wrote the best rings. This took about a month mm -hmm. to do this one. I sold for seven eighteen for shipping. Made about a few bucks on it. I was happy, you know. <coughs> I was happy. This is part of my book. Or my, not book, like my yeah. video game by ML Quachos. Um, local thrift store. The books are from L.O. Collection with Book Bay. The thrift store is where I picked this up. I picked this up for... There were just two games. They were two ninety nine. I believe they went 40% off. So like $1.79, something like $1.69. Somewhere around there. Like I think they were $1.79 with tax. So like five sixty seven. Picked these up. I had sold this as is, untested. This only for nineteen ninety nine, Plus shipping. I saw the other one for 14 um, Super Mario Bros. So that was awesome. Yeah. And yeah, that's it. And then I saw the egg cookie. And check it for a sec. There's a special mm -hmm. They make not much money, they make about 8 10 bucks in so I see it's quite a few for what I'm saying is so there you go, Rubo. And yeah, like I said, I had sold these for 30 hours for shipping these in line. Checked the first for a coconut lemma. I picked these up okay, from 2 hours, 2 hours of listing. And my and my uh, sponge of push up that's closing on the stream to close on. And I sold these for thirty dollars free shipping. And I'm glad I made something on it. And um you know UPS I made about seven I made about six seven bucks. So I made about eight something for eight to around eight to nine for um fee before I packed them two dollar cost. Oh and then this is a oh yeah. Cam shot 699 449. This I've had for about, I want to say I've about three, four months. And llama parts and spongy parts. I don't do a sale them because of the fact that I know these take a while to sell. So if I know it takes a while to sell, I'm not going to lower the price on like books and stuff. I don't mind lowering the price for stuff that I know can take a while to sell. Or stuff that I know will take a while to sell. I'm not going to put stuff that. You know, it kind of depends on the prices. I'm gonna put them on sale. I'm going to sell them a little cheaper and get the get the get a little discount, but get the sale. You get a full price, ten percent discount. I give up on sale. So you maybe get more better discount. Yeah, yeah. And I'll gladly take offers on these. It's just that I don't want to put them on sale. Well, because they might take better sale. So. Makes sense. And I made a few bucks on that. Three bucks, let's see. This is Vices from Hitler's Army DVD. This is I picked up at the state set with all of the DVDs, set the tapes, and then the CDs in my box, and stuff like a few little CDs and stuff in my box. And this, I picked up the VHS tapes, Frank on the back bundle, and with the other VHS tapes in the bundle. So, this one for four fifty free ship plus shipping. Made a few bucks, and this made about three bucks on this, so as you guys see it go. These are some Mary Tiller front tine Tiller Titans with one inch shaft. These sold for nineteen ninety nine. Plus the buyer paid shipping on these. I paid about thirty dollars to ship it and I sold these for about and it only cost me like eighteen dollars shipping. So it was ship with the cost of shipping and the fees and so there. And I didn't make go around the shipping. So I made about twenty five, thirty bucks. So that's pretty nice. This is Laura Croft Tumor, the last call. This I picked up in my most recent book, book by uh, um, Lots and Elk Watch Shows. These sold for $22.50. This sold for $22.50. Free shipping. I made about 
15, I would say about 14, 15 bucks. Huh? So that was blah, at least. And I've only had this for about three weeks, a month. So that was awesome. You know, these times I've had probably about, I had for about four months. The voice that was on me a couple months. The stream it was, took a, while, a little bit to flip, but it was an awesome up up. I could have got more if it was in better shape. But as is acceptable condition, it's like we're way on the cover. Good big wearing covers. Enough to make it acceptable. So it's awesome. This is project management. A system that approaches things, scheduling and controlling. This sold for four forty nine. Free shipping. Buyer. This is the fifth edition. And I did not make nothing on this. This is part of the book says when just to get rid of use for feedback colors and and I did lose a little bit, but I was glad to see it go. And learn my lesson, you know. Just to make missing these genre booklets that I have to. This is the payroll book, the 11th edition. This is over 286, free shipping. And it make nothing, have for a couple months. This I had for, I picked up in a miss booklet, in a booklet trust, but came with some other random stuff. And I decided to list this thing. This side of it, because I that was all complete. And stuff like that. It was it was come with it and it was good cheap enough to sell. It was to sell and this sold for seven for yen plus shipping on sale. I was for nine and then I just seen they were putting on sales and it finally ended up these end up selling for like six hundred bucks. Generic these are like unbranded too. And yeah, I was happy to see it go. Well these are hard to find. So uh, I mean if people like want one of these you have to um it's hard to find and some business about this to medic Bought this on eBay. Which I was kind of shocked about. Yeah, like, I seen a business buy it for me. And it's not like a, it's just like a random, like, little account. Like this one. Yeah, I can understand, like, some of these ones that they buy from. Like, part buyers. Part accounts, stuff like that. Maybe for their customers, but... I have that one, it's just for the break room. Itch. I like to make with a new missile. I'm happy to get sold to them. For seven for you push shipping. And I've had that for like, I want to say since September, so it's like six months. Over six months, so I was happy to see you go. This is Whitman and Teldia. Orange cover, charms, but Whitman 966, Dorothy Daniel. I said listed for twenty seven ninety nine, but they someone sent me off for twenty four. I took up, and it was. I mean, I could have got a little more, but I was happy with twenty four. Yeah, you know? and this was about around twenty dollar profit, give or take. So I was ha really happy to sell it for get twenty bucks of it. You know? Let's see. And this is a lot of two thousand piece weight mount jigsaw puzzles. I've had these for almost three months in eBay. These sold for eight dollars plus shipping. And because then I'll do nine like we'll move around say I'll do nine fifty. And then maybe I could have gotten like maybe someone to get to like eight fifty, maybe nine. But I'm not gonna do that, you know. And I'm I'm just happy to see these go. Because I'm like 15% of 11 and I'd get it on like 10. Mm -hmm. I just gotta see these go. And I said these are sold as is. So, yeah, factor in the pricing, but I was happy to see these go. Mm -hmm. I have another puzzle I'm waiting for, another puzzle. Someone's giving me when they're done. Because they don't do them anymore and they don't want to keep them around for a while. So I'm just going to sell it. When they're done, and they said, You you know what? I don't want to mess with it anymore. I don't want to keep them because I'm not going to do them. I don't do puzzles in some point, some springtime, and summertime. Right, which I get, I saw, yeah, you know. I'm just going to list them all. And some then I'm missing these puzzles, and can I get something for them? I used to do my puzzles on buy nows or auction. auctions. I used to do my puzzle on auctions, but some of them I just don't see like auction being worth it. 
I remember having like eight, nine puzzle, ton of puzzles and like auction lots. I remember they used to be really well. Like, like, like they used to be well. Like, like I would get people out of bed and flip them and just buy them. Like, I had some of those overseas buying them, like here. Or UK buying them. Like overseas buying them. And then I another puzzle that did really, a couple puzzles that did really well. And I I don't do auctions very much. Like that was the time I did auctions. I did auction on like a red wing boots. I assume but one boot is one boot was worn more than the other boot. And they're really strange. And the enemy just get rid of them, flip them on, get rid of them. And they didn't want to wear one because they one boot was really new, one boot was old, and it was just really weird. Weird. So I just said, you know, sold it. I didn't really care because I got, I didn't really care what I got from. I just got to get rid of them and make something out. And I did. So I was happy, you know. So I thought them online. So I was happy, you know. I, I mean, I really can't complain because. You know, it's really weird how, you know, really weird thing. So, you know, he hasn't buy them, but yeah, them, so that's what matters. And then I had a book. I think I put a book on auction that was pretty rare. And I only found one person auctioned it off, and one person had to buy it now. But the only thing that sold was an auction. So I put on an auction, and it did end up getting like what I thought it would. And I had a couple of parts that put an auction. I didn't see really any sold cups in. But I knew and you saw it was like an auction sold cup. That ended at nine 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 with like three bids plus shipping. Just so had to put it up an auction and I'll be getting like twenty two something, so you know I was happy but it's like a few bidders and then another part untested. But but nine 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 alone got like a few bids, so I was happy, you know. On them because their rare parts hard to find, and one that did it was a little more common, not super common, but to put up on there and one that was no nothing but it did put up on it. It did sell to buy it now, so I figured just send it right out. So, so yeah, so that's it for what sold from uh, it's 16th of March 2022, 20th of March 2022.